Hi, my name is Marianne Litter and I'm from Word of Faith Christian Center in Port Elizabeth. Thank you for watching this broadcast. Today I'm going to read to you from Isaiah 60. And I'm so sure many of you have sung this song or you read it or you understood it or whatever. But I'm just going to read it to you again. The first verse says, Arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. I like the first verse first, and I'm going to talk about that. What is it saying is that you are in a place where you can literally stand up and say, the glory of the Lord is upon me. What does it mean to have the glory of the Lord upon you? It means that there is a presence of the Lord in your life. How do I get that presence? It's when I praise the Lord, which is say the name of Jesus, or when I pray, when I read the Bible, when I sing spiritual songs, when I just talk to him, you know, sometimes we can just talk to the Lord as if he's your best, and he is your best friend. You can just have a conversation with him. When you do that, you actually enter into a place where there's glory. And that glory, we call it a cloud. You will feel it. You will feel the presence of the Lord right there where you are. So this morning, I want to say this to you. Arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. You can just get up where you are and say, it doesn't matter what's going on around about me. I'm ready to rise and shine. But the second verse, and this is a cool one, it says, For behold, I'm reading from the King James, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon you and His glory shall be seen upon you. Oh, isn't that so amazing? There can be so many things happening around about you. Have you noticed those people sometimes? You look at them and you think, wow, everything is wrong, but they look so content. They look so peaceful. They look so together. And it's not what they've got that make it, but it's what's inside of them. I'm telling you, this, the Lord is telling me today that you will arise because there's the glory of the Lord is all over you. It doesn't matter how dark it may look around about you. It, it will not. Because it says here, it continues to say, because the light will shine upon you. It's like there's a spotlight on your life today. And if I could call this the spotlight day, make yourself stand in the spotlight of God's glory. Make yourself stand in the presence of God's glory so that you will experience how the life comes through you that you will not have to sit and be a beggar at the back door any longer. You are the head and not the tail. Father, I thank you that we have your word to guide us. Thank you that this word is guiding us right through. And today as your word teaches us to arise and shine because your glory is all over us. And Lord, that your light will shine upon us like a spotlight today. Let the light of God's presence shine upon everyone that's watching this broadcast in Jesus' name. Amen.